Welcome back, everyone. I'm Tram Mai. I'm Troy Hayden. Let's take a live look now from Douglas, the southeastern part of our state. Vice President Kamala Harris is set to speak at a campaign event right there at the border in just a few minutes. And you can see uh, the stage is set. The people are in place. But as of right now, no vice president. Yeah, Harris arrived in Tucson around 1.30 this afternoon, just a half hour late before heading to Douglas. U.S. Senator Mark Kelly and former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords flew from Washington to Arizona with the vice president. And not long ago, we're told she was briefed on many of the concerns at the Raul Castro point of entry there. She's expected to speak any moment now. And when she does, we will dip into that for you live the first time the vice president has been down here on our border the arizona border since she took office the democratic presidential nominee is expected to outline her plan for border security if elected president earlier today 12 news journalist bram resnick spoke with meet the press moderator kristen welker about how this trip could affect her campaign welker also gave a preview of an nbc poll of latino voters that's being released on sunday and joining us now is Kristen Welker, moderator of Meet the Press. Kristen, good to see you again. Bram, great to be with you. Kamala Harris is at the border today. Poll show she trails Donald Trump and how they are rated by voters as their ability to handle border immigration issues. Will this visit to Douglas, Arizona make a dent, make a difference? Well, Bram, it could. We'll have to wait and see. Here's what we've also been seeing in the polls. You're absolutely right. Trump has had a lead on the issue of immigration, but Harris has been narrowing that gap. What we're seeing this week more broadly is Harris really try to take on some of her big vulnerabilities in this race. So focusing on the economy, focusing on immigration, we anticipate at the border she will once again, as she has done so frequently, criticize former President Trump for torpedoing a bipartisan bill that would have added more resources to border security, among other things. We also anticipate she'll talk about the ways in which she plans to stiffen security, make it tougher to seek asylum. Now, by the way, some of her proposals are being met with some criticism by immigration advocates, but it is clear she is trying to reach out to the more moderate voters, undecided voters who could make a difference in this election. We'll be very curious to see if she continues to close that gap. And Bram, it's worth noting that on Sunday, we are going to have a new NBC News, CNBC, Telemundo poll that will look at Latino voters, get their take, not just on both of these candidates, but on these key issues, on immigration, on the economy, and on abortion, to name just a few. We'll have all of those figures with the great Steve Kornacki as we continue to track the headlines coming out of Vice President Harris's border visit, Bram. And, and I'm really interested to see that poll and what Steve Steve has to say. I don't know how much you can share with us. Are there, are there any broad themes, uh, a takeaway or two you can give us from that poll? It's, it's so important here in Arizona. It's so important, Bram. Look, I can't give any numbers, but here's what I can tell you we will be watching for. And I think the thing to really look out for in this polling, uh, we have seen Trump. Harris has had a lead with Latino voters. We've seen Trump uh, really close the gap with her with those voters. Does that continue to narrow? Or does she expand her lead? I think those are one of the uh, big questions. That's one of the big questions that we'll be watching for with these poll results. And then again, on the issue of abortion, immigration, the economy, are they still the top issue for Latino voters? Where do they fall? Where do they rate? So a lot to unpack on Sunday, and as you say, really critically important. Kristen Welker, can't wait to watch. Thanks so much for joining us.